big step towards justice in a 20-year-old cold case. Deanne Howland's torso was found near a rest stop in Wright City in 2004. Now police have a suspect in custody. Our Laura Barczewski has more from investigators about the major break in this case. Laura. And DNA technology was the biggest reason they were able to actually identify her body and also find the Maryland Heights man who they say admitted to her brutal murder. We pass our sincere condolences on to you and your family for the loss of your mom. Major K-Squad Captain John Romas says 35-year-old Deanna Howland was killed sometime around June 26, 2004. Two days later, only her torso was found at a rest stop off I-70 in Wright City. At the time, they couldn't identify her until 2016 when everything changed. Warren County investigators forwarded the DNA from the brother and other family members to a private DNA lab and then to the Missouri Highway Patrol Laboratory for comparison to the victim's DNA. And she always was so sweet. Her daughter so Ashley Kinnear so says it was somewhat of a relief to get answers. I'm surprised we made it that far. Maybe that's all I'm going to get. I need to come to terms with this might be the end of it. But it wasn't the end. Detectives say in 2021, DNA evidence sent to the FBI pointed them to 63-year-old Mike Clarity. Investigators say after his arrest earlier this week, he admitted to killing Howland. The relationship between Clarity and Howland appears to be related to her employment in sex as a sex worker. A disagreement involved, uh, developed during their interaction. Kinnear says while she will never have closure because nothing can bring back her mom, she will have justice. If there was anything you could say to your mom who was taken away from you at such a young age, what would it be? Oh man, here's the waterworks. Um, it would be that I know she never gave up on us. Like, no matter how many times people would tell me, like, sorry, maybe the drugs are better than you and she just doesn't want to come back, I knew that was wrong. Like, I had just enough experience with her as a person to know how much she loved us. I know, Mom. I know. I never doubted it. I know you loved me, and I know that you were taken away and that you didn't just leave. Kinnear says she will always remember her mom as a loving person and wants others dealing with cold cases to take this as a sign of hope. Clarity is being held on a $1 million bond in Warren County Jail.